Hi, it's action time. Um, I am Magdi and I wrote a Hungarian cookbook. We need a little small uh, quail. Usually I have two in the package, but today I just want to make a little one. But if you smart enough, you make the two and then you have leftovers for next day or the day after. You, you will need a quail. You need one on Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> more onions. You need, I like to use the um, celery root. This gives you a different flavor. You can use the stock too, and I will use both together. But this will give you a very, very good flavor for this. Don't forget that everything is slow motion now. This is not Magdi, this is for you. Let me show you how you clean the uh, onions. You cut one side, other side, and because I want to leave the peel. peel on it, I just will poke it a little bit because I want the flavor come out in the soup. And I showed you the uh, celery root, and this later I will put it in the press and seal, and it stays at least two, three weeks in the fridge. You see how handy this little ball is for you? You don't have to run back and forth. But I did long time, so I learned this, to use this. We have to wash the, wash the veggies because you don't want to put the sand or the dirt in your soup. We will start with a little quail. I already washed them. Or you made it your husband or kids, <laughs> you just do it this way. I will transfer it to my pot. I cannot explain why you have to put cold, cold water. If it interests you, do me a favor, check it out. A little strainer, what is very dense, and I can even take up the fat from the soup. And we're waiting for until it boil, and then I will see the foam, what I can scheme up with this. When I talk like this, like a teacher who makes sure you want to remember things, so you can let it. This is the foam, what I was talking about. You have to strain it like this. You see how easy? Because this is flat and dense, comes up. And this way I can take off the fat uh, too. That you calling scheming, if I say it right, but I hope I do. Because the quail uh, cooks very fast, I can add all my vegetables. Ahead. Not if I would make a chicken or I would make uh, other turkey legs or something like that, then I would not add my veggies immediately. But this could cook at the same time. I think I just put one Brussels sprouts first because this has a very strong flavor, so I can add it later if I really want to. And of course, when everything is finished, the soup is finished, I have to uh, strain it again because you don't, uh, you want to uh, get a clear soup. And whatever you cook, always use the bread, best product, best veggies, best meat, best seasoning, and then all your uh, flavor comes out much better. The vegeta, this is the special seasoning. Right now I just put a uh, half teaspoon and then I have to add like half a teaspoon salt or even put less because me I like salt so you, you use less everything whatever you're making if you cannot have salt in your diet. And I wish you can smell it and now because I want the flavor come out very good then I just lower the heat and simmer, almost just simmer it, not boiling it. You simmer it very slowly and then the flavor will come out. I wish you can smell it. You would love to eat it. I will put a cover on and that's how I... I can put for like 10-15 minutes and then after I put it on, I don't have to worry about this, okay? So this way I, will, I have a reminder. One minute. And the other thing nobody tell you, I am telling you now, the peel on the onions, you get a much, much nicer colored soup. You will love it. I can't wait to eat it. Special pasta for the quail soup. 
For the soup, you will use the very fine, because it's really extra fine. I could not find any other one. I tried, but try to get this. And always read the direction. I think they have it in English too. Before I, I cook in the pasta, I always add salt to it. A little flavor in the water. This one I will boil for one uh, minute, and then I leave it in for one minute, and then I will strain it. So we go and we strain the pasta. I have this dense uh, strainer for a little bit. And that's it. You have to strain the soup. And look at the color. I show you how to serve it. Put a little pasta in, or a lot, it's up to you. I add the liquid, the soap. And it depends if you like carrots, cooked carrots, you could cook one cooked carrot in it. And then you can add like hot um, crushed pepper.